In this video, we're going to walk through setting up the Skill CMS system on your PC. There are just a couple of steps involved with doing that. One thing to mention right up front is that the Skill CMS is compatible with the uh, latest three versions of Microsoft Office, Office 2010, Office 2013, and Office 2016. A lot of times Office 2016 is often called Office 365. You can buy a subscription to Office 365 and do a local install of Office and it will effectively be Office 2016. Um, one other point is Microsoft Access is generally included with professional versions of Microsoft Office. So if you go by the home version or the business version, it may not include Microsoft Access, the database platform this runs on. So you do need to make sure you get the professional version. And as an educator, you have an op opportunity to get some incredibly discounted prices on Microsoft Office Professional. One other point, Microsoft has recently upgraded to a 64-bit option when you install Microsoft Office, and the Skill CMS platform is not compatible with the 64-bit install of Office. In any of these more recent versions of Microsoft Office, when you install it, you have a choice, and, and, and by default, that choice is to install the 32-bit version you would have to intentionally override that default and say you want to install the 64-bit version. And if you do that, you will not be able to use Skill CMS. We're just not compatible with the 64-bit version of Office. So in terms of getting the CMS installed and running on your PC, <clears throat> here are the steps you'll want to do. You're going to create a folder on your C drive at Skill CMS. You're going to get a zip file that I'll email you through mailbigfile.com. You'll extract those files to that location, uh, skill CM, the Skill CMS folder on your C drive. We need to configure the Microsoft Office Trust Center to, to let Office know that this location is trusted to run code in. And then just launch the system. Should be pretty straightforward. Let's walk through that now. I'm going to switch over to my C drive. And you'll see I do not have a folder here called Skill CMS. So I'm going to create a new one. I want to make a, I just right clicked on my C drive, or there's a little button up here at the top you can use to make a new folder. I want a new folder called Skill CMS. And now in that Skill CMS folder, I don't have anything, there's nothing in it, but on my C drive, I now have this folder called Skill CMS. So that's kind of important. I want that. And that's where I'm going to put all the files, on the C drive and Skill CMS. Let me switch over to my email right quick and see I have received an email, file notification from mark at trainingwheels.com. This is the file, Skill CMS. Uh, this, is, this example is California Region 1. So I'm going to take this email and I'm going to click that link to retrieve the file. And when it comes up, this is the file that I have received. I want to download that file. Now you can download it and move it, or what I want to do is right click on the file name and, and save as, so that I can put it where I want it. Save as, then it'll ask where I want to put it. I want to put it on my C drive in the Skill CMS folder. Uh, Skill CMS, I want to put it right there, that way I'm telling it where to save that file. And it'll download the file real quick because it's fairly small. And if I go back over and look at my C drive again, remember I'm on the C drive in the Skill CMS folder. That's the file I just downloaded. So everything I need is in that file, but it is a compressed file. It's been zipped to conserve space. So I need to extract those files into this folder. And in Windows, you may have a tool. You may be using WinZip or some other utility, but Windows just has the, op the option to unzip a file by right clicking it and extracting all. So I've just right clicked that file and I'm going to choose extract all. And it's going to ask me where I want to put it. I don't want to put it in a subfolder there. I just want to put it directly in Skill CMS. I'm going to kind of delete this stuff here so it's going to be extracted to C colon backslash Skill CMS. That's the location where I want to extract those files. When I hit extract, there they are. So now again, I'm on the C drive. I'm under the Skill CMS folder. That's the zip file that I originally received. And these are the files that I got in that zip file. So there's the two Microsoft Access databases. The CAR1 is the data for California Region 1. The program database, of course. A couple of Excel files for the judge duplication macro and a score master. We'll use those later in the system. 
the two PowerPoint templates, a normal version and a wide version for generating your award ceremony. And then the Skill CMS documentation. That's a Word document that just has all the information about how to use the Skill CMS platform. It's a very valuable tool for you to use to read through that. It tells you all about how to install this thing, how to use it, how to do everything you need to do with the system. So I've unzipped it. I've got everything I'm ready to go. I'm ready to start using the system. I, I will need to come back and do the Microsoft Office Trust Center, but I want to show you why we need to do that. In order to launch the system to use the Skill CMS at any point, you just double click on the Skills Registration Program file. Skills Registration Program. When I double click that, it's going to launch Microsoft Access. And of course, I see some errors and whatnot. And notice the key thing up here I have a security warning. A lot of the content in this platform has been disabled because Microsoft Access by default tries to be very secure and not allow code, unknown code, to execute on your computer unless you authorize it. And so that's where we need to come back over to the Microsoft Office Trusted Locations platform. We need to make a, a, some setting changes in Microsoft Office so that it knows you trust the code that we've sent you in this platform to run. Um, so it's on the Trust Center, Trusted Locations. We're going to add a new location, and then we're going to browse to that Skill CMS folder. I'm going to walk through that. It's fairly straightforward. These are the steps. They're in the documentation. You can always refer back to this video to walk through them. You only need to do this one time. So while I'm in Access, I'm going to go to the File menu, and I'm going to choose Options. And in the Options screen, I'm going to look for the Trust Center. And I want, to I want to change the Trust Center settings. And the setting that I want to change is I want to add a new Trusted Location. So I'm going to click Trusted Locations. And I want to add a new location. By default, there's only a few places where code can run. I want to add a new location. And the location I want to use, of course, I'm just going to browse to it. And I'm going to look in that same spot we were on the C drive in the Skill CMS folder. There we go. On the C drive in the Skill CMS folder. I'm going to click OK, and then I'm just going to keep clicking OK until I get all the way out of this screen. Three or four times, I'll keep clicking OK. And it tells me I have to basically close and reopen the database for this to take effect. That's OK. I'm just going to exit completely out of Microsoft Access. I've done those steps. Let me go back and look. Remember how we launched this thing on the C drive in the Skills CMS folder there is Skills Registration Program. That's the file you use to always launch the system. When you double click it this time, I don't get that funny error message. I don't get the security warning. It's just telling me the data file needs to be reattached because it doesn't know which data database I want to work with. So it's telling me to use the attachment manager to locate Skills Registration data, whichever one I want to use. Well, I want to use that California one that I got. So I'm going to click the Select File to Attach button. And I'm going to look on the C drive. I'm just going to browse here, same way we did before. I'm going to click that little folder button to browse. I'm going to look on the C drive in the Skill CMS folder. And I want the data, Skills Registration Data, in this case, California Region 1. OK. I'm going to click the button to attach those tables. And when it's finished, I can close this down and now I'll notice there I am. I'm at the main menu. I've got California region one competition and all these buttons should work. It'll tell me down here. I'm connected to California region one. I can click through any of the buttons and see the data on people and we should be in good shape. And that's all there is to it. Have any questions? Have trouble setting the system up? Just shoot us an email support at skillsusa-register.org. Thank you very much.